If you've installed Civil Side Design version 25 on your computer, you can start using custom variations immediately. However, there are some additional benefits that we're now going to talk about. First of all, installed with Civil Side Design is a Scriptex editor. Now, this is a standalone editor. It used to be that you could edit these only through the design data form, but this is a standalone editor. Now, if you go File, Stored Scripts, all of these scripts are being found in your common 10. If we go Open, you'll actually see the location of these original scripts. So let's just take a look at this first one in the list. Now, unless you know what you're doing with editing these scripts, we don't recommend you start to make changes to them. If you do want to make changes to them and you feel confident, then simply just run a file save as to save as and begin to make edits to these if you want. The right click menu is really where most of the commands, control structures, properties, and even the UI, which is the user interface you can see in the design data form, are all set up. If you're interested to know more, you can click on the little help button and what this will do is fire up for you a PDF document online, which will be updated as we begin to develop more custom variations. There will be more information in here. If you want to now see how these are applied in the design data form, let's now open up the CAD platform. To access the custom variations, all you need to do is to head to the design data form for your nominated string. In this case, I'm just going to be picking this road here. In the design data form, you can expand the variations list that's currently in there and you can double click on variations to add new. The custom variation option is now found at the very top of the form. We can click OK. In this form, you can then load in a selection of pre-made scripts or custom variations that we have developed. If you begin to add more and save them into the scriptx folder and your common 10, the default location, they will appear in this list. Just a quick note that our scripts that we develop at Civil Survey Applications can be downloaded. And you can click on this Download Scripts button to download the very latest selection that we have added. Now, this will overwrite any custom variations that have the same name. So for example, if we go and make changes to the Insert Benching in Cut custom variation, you click Download, that will then update the Insert Benching in Cut variation. There is a little video button which will send you to the YouTube playlist related to custom variations and eventually we will have videos created for all of the custom variations for you to watch. To apply any one of these custom variations, you simply click on Add Variation. There is a small selection of custom variations which will add extra sections in on your behalf. To have those applied, you need to create the design variation first and then click the recalculate button. You may find because these extra sections are um, quite unique, they have to be retrospectively added in once the variation has been applied. You may find that you need to recalculate sometimes to have your variation reapplied. Failing that, you can also go to threads as soon as you open up a project and double click on resample all to resample all the strings and automatically have all these extra sections being reapplied your strings. You'll only need to do that once, which is at the start of the project, or if you add another variation that happens to be needing to apply these extra sections. If you're keen to learn more about custom variations, but maybe unable to have a go at the coding, contact us via the help desk to let us know what type of script you would like to see developed within the software, and we'll see if we can help add it into the build and make it available through the download button.